Hello, my dear children. I will welcome you to Semstar Online Classes. Today, I am going to teach you Chapter Three of Computer. That is, how does a computer work? Children, in this chapter, under this chapter, we are going to learn real life examples of IPO. What is IPO? That is input, process, and output. Now, what is input, process, and output? I will explain it to you in the chapter. Children, as you know. A computer cannot work on its own. Can it work on its own? No, children. It cannot work on its own. We need to enter letters, numbers, pictures, and instructions into the computer to make it work. These are called data. Different parts of a computer do different tasks. A computer works in three basic steps. First step is input. Second one is process, and the third step is output. Let us understand these three basic steps: input, process, and output by taking an example of our body. Children. When a teacher asks a question, we hear with our ears and see with our eyes. So, children, here the eyes and ears are the input units. Our brain stores everything that a teacher says. Then. It thinks of an answer. So, children, in this way, the brain works like a processing unit. Yes. Then, after thinking of an answer, it orders us to speak. When the when we answer with our mouth, it wor works like an output unit. Let's take one more example of input, process, and output. Children, suppose you ask your mother to wash your dirty clothes. You are giving instruction to your mother to wash your dirty clothes. So here, dirty clothes will be input. Now, what your mother will do? She will put all those dirty clothes into the washing machine, and The washing machine will start its work. It will start working and it will do the process of washing, cleaning your clothes. And the result, so this is process. And the result that you get is the clean clothes. That is the output. Similarly, computer also works like this. Let's understand the working of a computer. With an example, suppose you have to do a simple calculation. So here, two and five are the data, and plus is the instruction that you will give to the computer that you have to add two numbers. That is two and five. So these two and five are the inputs. Now the CPU will work on the data according to the instructions. That is, it will add the numbers two and five. So this is the process. And final output that you get seven is the correct result or output of the sum. That is, two plus five is equal to seven. So this is the output. So children, these are the examples of IPO, that is input, process, and output, through which computer works. Now children, tell me if you have to give any information to the computer, or you have to uh, enter any data into the computer. How will you enter that data or information into the computer? 
we will use keyboard and mouse to enter the information into the computer so these are the input devices that is keyboard and mouse they help us to enter information into the computer now when you have entered the information into the computer the work of the cpu starts it starts working on that data or information and this is called process and the result that you get suppose you have asked the computer to add 2 and 2 so the result that you get that is 4 2 plus 2 4 that is the final output result that is output one more thing children when the cpu finishes the processing data the output is displayed on the monitor so monitor here will be output device monitor and printer are the most common output devices so children these were the three basic steps through which computer works that is input process and output i hope you have understood the chapter if you have any queries or any doubts then do ask me in the comment section i will surely answer all your queries thank you